NBA's biggest failed experiment could mean the end for the Wilson Airless basketball. Let me explain. You see, in June 2006, the league announced it was making a change. In partnership with their official ball sponsor, Spalding, they had developed a new proprietary microfiber material to replace the leather that basketballs had been made out of for almost a century. And after two years of preparation, the league announced the new ball with help from Paul Pierce and Kenny Smith. But that's when everything changed. Because in the weeks following, players were shipped their very own new ball to practice with before the season, and immediately they started complaining about how it felt. And eventually, the NBA Players Association got involved, filing two charges against the NBA for not properly consulting the players before the change. And then, just three months into the season, the league made the switch back to the normal leather ball. Today, the NBA partners with Wilson to make their game balls, which are still made from genuine leather. But think about how mad players would be if they had to start using a ball with holes and made entirely out of powder.